Okay, once again, I was doing something and got close to the end and decided, you know, I really should have made a video about that. Oh well. So, here's the deal. I need to test this. Uh, this happens to be a double oven. I'm going to clean it, so I'm going to go ahead and let it clean itself. But here's the issue. See, I have an oven plug. That's what the oven plug looks like. But I don't feel like taking it in the kitchen and pulling my stove out and hooking it up. So I'm going to use an adapter. What I have is a, uh, an extension cord I made that plugs into my dryer. But the dryer plug is different than the oven plug. So what I did was grab and buy an oven plug. Right? Oven plug? Sure, I hope so. I'm going to look pretty stupid if I didn't. So, oven plug. And I happen to have an extra dryer cord, oven cord, dryer cord. What do I have? I have a dryer cord. This is what the dryer cord looks like. So this is what the receptacle looks like for the dryer. So I've made an extension cord, which I'll show you, that plugs into my dryer and I can bring it outside. And of course, now I got storms coming in, so I'm probably not going to be able to do this. But I'll have the tool ready. So anyway, at the end of the uh, dryer, you get these ring terminals, and uh, unfortunately, they don't fit under here. So what I did was take a pair of pliers. Yeah, it'd be nice if it would have showed you. I know, a pair of pliers, and basically just bent bent those suckers over a little bit. So they squeeze them essentially so they'll fit in this slot and I slid each one down in there and screwed that sucker down nice and tight. This is a 220, 240 actually, a 240 plug so red's 110 volts, black's 110 volts, they go on the outsides. Green is always ground and this in accordance with standard procedures a white screw is going to be for the neutral wire. Gold is hot, just like on a regular outlet. If you're hooking an outlet up, same thing. The gold screws are where the line, as they call it, the hot lead goes, the black wire. The ones that are silver, closest to white, go for the neutral. So this is the hooked up in there. So that's going to go, let's say, that's going to go and screw. Put that together, and then I can take this, which I will show you plug it into my dryer extension and I can plug my double oven into there stove range whatever you want to call it and let it cook to clean itself but this is a handy little tool an adapter if you do this kind of thing I just uh, it's more convenient for me have an extension cord hooked into my dryer plug because I can get behind it and uh, plug that sucker in so we will proceed in that direction I have to decide if it's going to rain on me or not because I know this thing takes a long time to clean, so I'm going to have to wait until the morning. Anyway, that's the first part. Alright, here we have it in use. This is my extension cord I made with the dryer plug on it. Dryer plug then goes in there. I got the oven receptacle on this side. The oven plug, four prong oven plug. And mine this is a four prong oven plug. You can do the same thing, but you'd have to change this. If you have a three prong stove, you'd have to change this to a three prong box. But uh, hopefully I'm not dealing with those anymore. So anyway, oven's hooked up. Get ready to fire this thing up and let it do a self clean. There's the hookup. Good go.